So um, um, previous two videos, you already get the data, convert into the something, then convert into string, um, put that string as an entity into XTP post using the XTP client in order to post it into um, this web service. Okay, from this service, uh, it's going to return you uh, another JSON message. You read the JSON message as a string already. You now going to um, convert it into. You now going to convert it into. How to say? You're gonna convert it into um, Java JSON object. Java JSON object. Okay. From this Java JSON object, you're gonna convert it into a few of let's say um, status two dot. This is just something. Uh, uh, no, a few. Okay, and um, this one is their status is up. Status is up. Okay, then from this status, we're going to from this JSON object, we can get back the um, status result. Okay, we get back this status result, and we're going to this one is you get back their status. You get back their status. Right, then get back the status here, and once you get back the status, you're going to toast it here on our previous activity, which is the status. Okay, the status here for the user to see, here for the user to see. Okay, the status here for the user to see. Yeah, and then um, that's a job that we're going to do now. So we're going to continue with the method, which is um, we're going to do with the method, which is um, which is how to sign now um, restring contents already. Now I'll do um, public voids and um, public string. Okay, um, um, get the status. Okay, from the string um, 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 content. So. From this string contents, we know that it is um, is um, um, JSON object. So convert into this object. We want to use uh, JSON object. JSON object. Okay, JSON object equal to um, new um, JSON object. Okay. Then we are going to uh, specify that content, that content of this um, JSON message. Okay. Then now we access to um, the status. So we want I'm a real class string. Status equal to empty so far. Then um, for this one we need to um, um, for this one we need to um, how to say um, do the try catch okay because this one is an unhandled un exception so we we'll need to do the try catch here. What? Okay, so um, if the pops doesn't appear, so if you click on this one, okay, the pops appear. If the pops doesn't appear, you're gonna do command on um, T. So you're gonna surround it with try catch, okay? So now we have the try catch um, JSON exception ready. When we um, now we are able to convert the content into JSON and the content um um, um, um the um content let's say that returns it here. It has uh, the key is this and the values is the um, status itself. So you go to um let's say um declare um, you're going to um, say status equal to a JSON object dot. Um, get string Arabic with the key is status. Then finally, we're going to um, return the status. And probably, I'm, I'm not going to put um, this one, I'm going to put um, north. Okay. Yeah, so um, all this kind of tasks are now um, ready. So um, you can take the data, you, know, you can take the data, convert into JSON object. Then you post it into the um, um, website, then get back the um, um, input string, then you um, um, read the contents out of it, okay. then um, um, you get the um, 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 status by converting into um, a JSON object and get the string. Now it's ready for us to um, put all of this um, into a long running task. And we need to put it um, um, into an async task. Please um, read my uh, watch my previous video about async task. So we'll make a private. Um, um, this one is post task um, extends post JSON task post JSON task. Um, it should extends from um, a private class. Sorry, this one is private class. 
Okay, it should extend from um, um, a sync pass, and we need to input three parameters. The first parameter is for the um, data type that we have to input for this downloading, which is a string URL, um, a string. Then the second one is sorry, a string. Then the second one we have to input, which is uh, uh, the second one that you have to we have to input, which is a uh, how to say, which is a. Uh, um, 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 data type for uh, progresses. If you do have, um, you, you do need to show some uh, progresses during working with this long progress. And third one is um, the returning result. The returning result is gonna return us a string. So you're gonna put a string so that we can toss it out. Then for this one, we're going to do control I to implement a matrix. For a sync task, we need to implement we need to implement the we need to implement the do in background because a sync task is to do a task in the background. So you need to implement the method do in background something there. And the input is a string which is for the URL. So I'm gonna declare URL string equal to params zero. Okay, the first parameters that you input and you input only one. Then from this one, you're going to do um, 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 JSON object. Okay, OBG JSON object. Um, from um, 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 get data and to JSON object, we want to use this method. So this one is um, this one is convert data to JSON. Okay, convert data, convert data to JSON. Then we have JSON object already. We want to call them to method to post JSON object. Okay, and you need to post the JSON object, which is JSON object, to the URL, which is the URL string that we um, use input before. And we're going to get an input string is equal to and if is different from null, okay. If is different from null, then um, we're going to declare string result equal to nulls here. And at the end, we're going to return the result. Okay. Then if um, input string different from null, then we're going to call the method to um, um, get the the um, 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 content. Um, read string content, string um, 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 content equal to read string content from the input stream which is is over there. Okay, and once we have the input stream already, once we have the input stream already, we're going to um, read the result. So this one is we're going to call to the method get the status from the content. Okay. And that one will be storing to the result, okay? The result. Then finally, we're going to return this result, okay? Then this one is a new in background, and if you call new in background directly, it doesn't return you the result directly because it's an asynchronous, okay? If you call to it, it's gonna return later. But when when it returns, it's gonna call to another method that you need to override. So press Ctrl O, and we're gonna override on post execute. So after executing this um, in background, it's going to return us a string. And that string is here. This is the content or the result that is going to return. It is here. And we're going to um, use a string and tools message dot uh, matrix to um, get base context. Um, and the result is result is as toast it out and toast dot um, length long dot show with those result in as the uh, result. Okay, then now um, we're going to create the methods for using this. Okay, so once again, um, we make use of all the tasks we've done before and put it into a do background methods. And um, after doing this background, don't call this directly. If you call this directly, it doesn't return you the string directly because because um, it doesn't wait for you. Because when you call this method, it's just do the processing. Okay, and, and um, the method return directly. But it doesn't return you the string. So when is it going to return the string? It's going to do it in the background. Then once you have the the result, it's going to call to this method on post execute and give you that result string. So the string return from this method is passed to this one. So then you can toss it out. Then you can toss it out. Then we create a method for the button submit public void on button um, um, post um, um, click view okay view there. Then we're going to create an object of we're going to create an object of um, 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 post JSON task post JSON task um, equal to new post JSON task okay then um, post JSON task dot execute 
when we execute, we need to put um, a string in. And this string is the URL of the web service I already specified here. Copy it, uh, paste it here. Okay, then, um, um, and that's it. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna copy this method and you're gonna wire it to this button. Click on this button, I think go to text for that button, it's easier. Okay, for that button, I'm going to specify one more myth, um, one more properties, which is on click equal to paste this method in. Okay, now we can run the application. Oh, uh, before running the application, uh, we need to change our manifest as well. Okay, sorry, because because if we um, are accessing to internet, we need to um, use permission inside the manifest. Use internet permission. Okay, uh, for permission. So if we run this one. Um, use this emulator, use the same device next time. Okay. Okay. So let's just say quantity is one, the name is meter, now it's product one. Then um, quantity is 12, post. Okay, succeeded. Okay, succeeded. So why is it succeeded? Because you already access to the internet. Okay, and that website, this website, I already coded it here, already coded it here. So if you um, send the correct one, so it's going to get the input, okay, then um, it's going to um, decode it into a JSON object. But this one, I, I place the option, so it's going to um, convert into associate um, um, array, actually. Then you can access to ID, you can access to name, you can access to um, quantity, so on and so forth. Let's just say, if you do some um, 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 uh, empty, this one don't put anything. Um, if don't put anything, then um, when you do the pass, it will have the arrow. Then let me just put one, then this one I put empty, this one put it um, 12, and we'll do post. Okay, so you said fair, the name is required. Okay, the name is required. Okay, so on so forth. So actually, you um, do get the um, message out from here already. Okay, and you did um, uh, able to. You, you you was able to uh, from the data okay from the data convert into JSON object okay put the data into JSON object convert into a, a, a string then uh, you use HTTP client and put that string as a body of the HTTP post then the HTTP, uh, HTTP client send that post body to this URL then the web service return you a string like this this one is JSON object so you convert into JSON object then from the JSON object, you get back uh, the status, and when you have the status, you post it here. You post it here. That one is um, 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 the way we use um, um, Android and JSON in order to um, communicate with web services using JSON. We may have other um, um, ways of communicating with web services, especially the SOAP-based web services or XML-based web services. But that, those things will still do the similar things, but um, um, yeah, different from um, different from other types of programming languages like C Sharp or Java. They will provide you the um, mechanisms to convert automatically XML into object. But um, in Android, um, you have to do those kind of things and you need to process the XML post message and XML receipt message um, manually. It's kind of more complicated. But then uh, this is the main one that we are doing. This is the main one.